Hello friends, welcome again. Today I wanted to show you something I've been working on for a few weeks and it's all about minifigures. You know that Lego has those minifigures and you can buy a bunch of them online. They come in this little bag you see right here and you can build a collection as big as you want. But what I've been trying to do lately is to organize them into shadow boxes. And I wanted to show you the shadow boxes that I did about Stranger Things. So I want to show you right here this is the one I've been working on. So if you can see, this is a blue shadow box. Uh, and all of these minifigures are from Stranger Things. You can see right here. So you're gonna see some of them are repeated. And you're also gonna notice that the way that I approach this project is different from the shadow box on the left to the one on the right. So just to give you an idea, the shadow box comes with this backdrop. It's a cloth that is wrapped around foam. So what I did here on the left one, I just covered all of that with one of these cheap plates that I got a Dollar Tree for $1.25. And what I did, I just placed the figures on the base that they come up with, attached to the studs, and I just lay them the way I found it, was, it would look cool. But on this one on the right, what I did is that I used actually these things you see here, they're an inner frame that the shadow box has, so I took it apart and I just glued it, glued it to the cloth. So I have one, two, three, four, right here. And different from this one, these ones are loose. The pieces are loose, so if you move it too much, you can see as an example the bicycle, you can see how they move. See, so that's a little trick. I, I didn't want to glue them because I have not done yet with them. But the issue is that if you move in too much, as you can see, Vecna right there, it's having a hard time getting back together to its original position. I can fix that later. So, yep, yeah, that's a project I've been working on. And I wanted to show you all the, all the ones that I've been working on and I already completed. And I place them all around the house. So come with me and let's see what I did. Okay, so this one, you can see, same concept. This is a black frame, white backdrop, but these are from X-Men. You can see right there, this is in my bathroom. One of my bathrooms, I'm gonna show you the other one down here. Uh, this is, sorry for the lightning here, but this is the same concept. These are all from Spider-Man. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you two more that I have in my other bathroom. This is the other one, of course. It has Guardians of the Galaxy, it has Thor, so it's from Marvels. But the reason why I wanted to show you this is like how, how cool they can look. Instead of just having them all around, them, you can actually frame them and display all your figures according to topic. So you have an art piece and at the same time your toys are dust free and being displayed. And the final one is this huge one you see right here. This has about 225 minifigures, all from Star Wars. This is how everything started. This is the first one I ever created using an Ikea frame, uh, poster frame. It has about six different plates in the back, all put together, glue. And I'm so proud of this one. I really love how it turned out, but I'm also running out of space so when I tried to make a bigger one, it was already too heavy. So that's why it turned out to the shadow box that you saw a few minutes ago. And yeah, so guys, what do you think? Do you like this thing that I'm doing? Let me know. Uh, and let me know how much would you pay for a shadow box like the one you saw from Stranger Things right there. Cause I'm planning on maybe trying to make a store or sell them somewhere and I would like to see how much you're willing to pay for this because uh, every figure depending on where you buy it can be a little expensive some other are not that expensive but just let me know how much are you willing to pay for example let's let's put this as, a, as the base example how much how much would you pay for this shadow box that has let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen whoa that has 18 minifigures how much would you pay for it okay 
So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this content, please leave a comment and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see any more videos about my minifigures. Of course, if you look on the on the my content, you can see other other videos that I did about minifigures. So thank you so much for watching and have a great, wonderful rest of your day.